Hey, what's up, guys? Today I will be showing you guys how to solve 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. And in this tutorial, there will be two algorithms. I'll show them on the screen. Um, so you guys can just look at that to solve some of the layers and stuff like that. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you guys the, my collection of Rubik's Cubes. Just like the Rubik's Cubes I've collected over the years. And stuff like that. So... Let's get into it. Okay, so I just got done scrambling the cube. And one thing I want to say right now, before we get started, is that I start from the white side up to the yellow side. That's just how I, that's how I learned. Okay, I just wanted to let you guys know. And it's also going to be easier if you know how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. <clears throat> because of notation and stuff. Like that, I could go over that in another video, but in this video, I just, I'm not going to be going over all that stuff. So, what we're going to first want to do is solve the white side and the white, okay. So, we're going to have to match up these cubes. See, if we put this one here, also, it's going to be a lot easier if you know how to solve 3 by 3 So, we're going to have to move that out of the way, you know, move it, but this is not the right piece it would not go there because there's not even blue on this corner piece right here so we see this one we slide it over there it is it matches right there both blue and also these match already which is already good so and then so we have this piece so what we're gonna do is just move it up and move it in. Sorry if you guys haven't solved 3x3 three three before. I might go over that in another video. But just you can look up how to solve a 3x3, three three, the beginner's method. It'd be a lot easier for you guys. Okay. So this is just making it easy for me. So these this is what you wanted. Here's the white side, here's the yellow side. And having this yellow piece right here, and then this one. But, I want to go, I'm just going to. Okay, so the reason I redid that is because all I had to do was one algorithm to completely solve this side. It's not what I wanted. I want to show you guys other things. So, here's the white side. The opposite side is yellow. So, if you guys have this, two yellows on the top. Two yellows right here. Face the ones on the top toward the back. So like, here's the front side, front face, and here's the back. We want those in the back. So then we're gonna do this algorithm, which is right, up, right inverted, up, right, up two, and right inverted. Now we just moved around the pieces a little bit. So, and then we're going to do that algorithm again, which is right, up, right, inverted, up, right, up, two, and right, inverted. Now we have these in the back, which we're going to want to show in the back. So, then we're... Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. Um, my battery on my phone, not my battery, my storage, is starting to run out. And that's what I record with. Soon I'll, I'll move on from my phone to like like a GoPro or something. But that's what I'm using right now. Just because I started YouTube. So I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to start from where we left off. And I got to hurry because I do not want my storage to run out again. I want to get this video uploaded. Okay, so when we're at this position, like I said, we got the two yellows. We point them to the back. We'll do the same algorithm, which is right up right inverted up right up two and then right inverted now this is our key position we were at last time and i just want to do redo it and show other situations so we're going to do the same algorithm which is right up right inverted up right up two right inverted now we just solve that side now sometimes you won't have two pieces matched up on the middle too but we're lucky enough to have it. and if that doesn't happen 
do the algorithm we're about, I'm about to do right now. And just, it doesn't matter which way you're facing. But if you have them, face them away and do this algorithm, which is right inverted, front, right inverted, back to, sorry, um, right, front inverted, right inverted, back to, and right to. Which, that is the cube. Um, now it's completely solved. Now, like I said, if you had, like, you didn't have any matching pieces, like I had these two red, all you had to do was just do the algorithm, then went, and after doing it, you would get these two, and you'd point them away and do the same algorithm. So, thanks for watching. Now I'm going to show you guys my Rubik's Cube collection. Okay, guys, this is my Rubik's Cube collection. Now I'm going to show you guys the set I got online of the same type of cube, but like... 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5. I forgot the names of them exactly. But you guys might be able to recognize them. I think they're Shinga, Shanga, or whatever. So here's my 5x5. Five five. I've solved these all before. I just scrambled it up and tried again. It's my 5x5. Five five. Here's my 4x4. Four four. It was solved. Literally. Then I scrambled it. And stuff like that. Then I got the 3x3. Three three. This used to be a really smooth cube, but I haven't used it in a long time. So it's it's a lot slower, and it doesn't work as fast. It doesn't work as fast. There's the 2x2 two two that I just used for this video to solve. So these are like my the set I have. So put those aside. I have a bunch of other just random cubes I get just for collection and stuff. Here's... An extremely small cube I have. Like my fingernail is bigger than like two of the cubes. It's really hard to solve because it's so small. Then I got a lot of these I just got out of shop. And I don't even solve them or anything. I just have them once again for the collection. Um, here's a picture cube. Which makes zero sense how to solve it. I have no clue. I worked on it today and got a side. There's Luigi. It's just a Mario edition thing. I have this cube. I forgot where I got this. Um, it's another one of those cubes I don't even use. Just got for the collection. And I have a gear ball. Which is kind of fun to mess around with. I actually don't even know how to solve it. But it's kind of easy. You can get like two sides with just twisting it a bit. Here's another 3x3. Three three. This is one you get at like Walmart. Once again, I just got so I could have for the collection. And this one is like my speed cube. It works really great. It's really smooth. Um, I like using this one a lot. Just to solve my 3x3 three three practice and stuff like that. So that's one cube I really like to use. And this is the first Rubik's Cube I have ever got. It says Rubik's Cube right up the top. It's a sticker cube. Stickers are starting to fall apart. Honestly, it runs better than I thought it would for being how old it is. And still, I just gotta have it. It's one of like the, my first cubes. It's good to have. So... Oh yeah, and I have one more cube I have to show you guys. Okay, so I just found it. This is a shape-shifting, I guess, triangular prism? Triangle? Pr like, pyramid? <clears throat> I really don't like this. I have no clue how to solve it. No clue how to even get a side. The pieces have fell out before and I have no clue where else to place them. But it's just one cube I have. There we go. It's like, I guess, a side. Not the same as colors. But that's my last cube. So, 
I hope you guys enjoy. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. And check out my other videos. I do videos with my brother sometimes. So you can check out his channel. I will put the name right on the screen right now. It is Brandon and Caden. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later.